Welcome back to the O2 Arena in London for our final fight at BKB 13. And what a fight it is. A world lightweight title fight between Jimmy Sweeney, the challenger, who's of course the world super middleweight, uh, super middleweight champion, and Sean George, who's the lightweight champion. This is going to be one hell of a fight. Sweeney has dropped away to become the first doubleweight champion. He says he'll be a triple champ, having won two versions of the, of the middleweight crown. Um, but he's got a record of 19 wins, no draws, one defeat, and that, of course, to Julian Lane, which was probably the best thing to ever happen to him because yeah. he's now fitter than he's ever and been. he came back stronger from that fight. Celtic warrior is known at from Ireland, from Sligo in Ireland. Sean George, proud Welshman, known as the outlaw. Nine wins, two draws, two defeats in BKB. I mean, what can you say? Sweeney at 11-8, him at 11-7. This is a fight. Exactly. It's the fight we've been looking forward to. I mean, we've been looking forward to a few fights tonight, but this is the main one. You know, the fans are looking forward to it. Uh, we're looking forward to it. You know, when uh, we just can't wait to get it on. Let's uh, cross to our ring announcer, Lee Druid. Ladies and gentlemen, your final contest is the main event of the evening. Scheduled for seven by two minute rounds and is for the BKB Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first in the red corner with a professional BKB record of 19 wins and only one loss, the fighting pride of Sligo Island, the middleweight champion of the world, Jimmy. The Celtic Warrior, Sweeney! Sweeney making his way to the ring in that traditional way he does with a swagger with his Celtic shirt on and a swagger. He waits for the right moment and then he swaggers into the ring, oozing confidence. He is the most confident fighter I've ever met in my life. He just oozes it. And that's what you can do, Tom. You know when you've got that ability, you've got all them uh, all them strings into your bow, you know, and uh, you can turn it on when you need to. You know, you can box, you can fight. You can use all them tricks. You can use confidence, Tom. Well, he's going into the uh, red corner. He doesn't often do that, does no, he? I was going to say that, Tom. I bet this is uh, unusual for him coming to the uh, the ring as a challenger. Well, look at the entourage. <laughs> My days. Well, Lee through it will bring in the champion Sean George in a moment. But he can't have all these. His son's in the ring with him, which he's very proud of. They want them all out the ring. They want them all away from the ring. They can't stay behind because the officials won't allow it. So the fight won't go ahead unless they move. So they're all going now. The champion, Sean George, to make his way into the ring to the Welsh National Anthem. He'll wind them all up with this. He will do. But he, listen, he's coming in as champion. Yep. And he's no, listen, he is no mug. No, exactly. I'm, you know what I was going to say, Tom? You know what I liked about the interview? That he was nice and calm, collect, relaxed at the pre-fight No interview. promises, no, no threats. I'll let me fist through the yeah, talking. Exactly. You know, he was nice and calm, relaxed. And that's what I liked about that. You know, he said, I'm going to let, like you just said, Tom, I'm going to let my fist through the talking. You know, and that's his mentality. You know, both guys, 
uh, you know, experienced enough at this level now, you know, and that's what makes for what's going to make for a great fight. Um, hopefully, um, you know, two great fighters putting it on the line, two great champions putting yep. it on the line. Yeah, absolutely, and this is almost it's sad that one's got to lose. Exactly, you know, they're two great guys, two yeah. great champions, two tough guys that you know just ooze courage. Yeah. You know, and as long as this is the fight we're going, to, we think we're expecting, or we think it's going to be, we could be looking at a, you know a rematch, a trilogy, on whoever gets the result. You know, this could go on for a couple of fights, depending on the result, obviously. Well, we'll see because you've got two absolute BKB masters here, Jimmy Sweeney, with all the technique and all the. No, he, he's not, a, you know, he comes in with a swagger, but he backs it up with yeah, with genuine ability, yeah. genuine toughness. Yeah. And he can finish you off. Yeah, exactly. You know, he's a great fighter. He's got all the skills. He's got all the moves. You know, he's got the swagger. He carries it off, like we say. But you, you know, know, he's very elusive. Yes, correct. And in the interview, Sean George says, "Listen, Jimmy Sweeney's the master. Yeah, he's you know, the best. He's got utmost respect for him. You know, and that's that's a sign of a good champion when you can say that about your your opponent, who's also a it, good champion. It means you're not going to come in here as the champion exactly. overconfident. Exactly. You know, he, he's the, he'll have done his own work. You know, he's got the utmost respect for. Uh, Jimmy Sweeney and I think when you've got that amount of respect for your opponent yeah I think that makes you a better fighter it doesn't mean it I think you know all this sometimes trash talk you know where uh, you're undermining you know or disrespecting your opponent I think you've got to ask yourself a few questions when you're doing that but these guys you know they're on the level uh, they talk highly of each other there's none of that trash talk this fight doesn't need it um, and I can't wait till you know that first bell goes Tom. well absolutely right and you know, Sean George will get into the ring now as champion, lightweight world champion. But I think this is his toughest fight yet. Yeah, his toughest fight by far. You know, and he's been involved in some tough fights. You know, when you're a you champion, have, yeah. you have to beat the best. Exactly. That's what about. That's what being a world champion is about. You know, this nation. That's why. I've, you know, that's why I like it. You know, I like the fact that these guys have got it on straight away. None of this. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to fight him. Yeah, I'm not ready. These guys are ready. They're ready to roll. And a contrasting style. Exactly. You know, and it's going to make for an interesting fight. Is either is either one going to play into the other guy's hands? Um, we'll see. Yeah. And he does cut as well. Sure. Yeah. I mean, Sean. He, he's he, you know he's a normally a come forward fighter, but we noticed in his last fight when he's got that tremendous knockout. He went on the back foot, you know, and it worked for and him. And he hasn't got to be the one who yeah. comes on the front he foot He hasn't got to be on the front foot today. He was just says, like, you know, going from his pre-fight interview and his pre-fight talk, he's got a game plan, he, he, you know, and he sticks to it. Who knows? When you think how Jimmy Sweeney was in some of the... When he fought Lane the first time and got beat, yep. look at the shape he's in now. Exactly, you know, he's in a lot better shape. You can see it in his face. You know, he's lost a lot of weight around the, uh, around the midriff. Sean, look, he's yeah. talking about his relationship with his trainer. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, exactly. Special bond yeah. between them. Yeah. Here we go, and people. I think this is it. Now. This is bare knuckle boxing. Jimmy, make some noise brother, for these two. And his son, who'd leave the ring now. The two best pound for pound fighters in BKB today. He calls the two fighters to the centre. And look at that respect for each other exactly they have had nothing but respect for each other have they since the day one that just goes to show sometimes i mean the trash thought we like sometimes but it just goes to show you don't always need that when that bell goes exactly these two fighters respect each other and they have to and what do they say about the ring the biggest lie detector in the world exactly. there's no hiding place exactly seconds out up and running one. First round. touch hands and jimmy with that cobra like stance he'll put that one hand out, trying to tempt the yeah. opposite fighter while getting the right hand ready to strike. Sean George look looked very light on his feet. Yeah, Both of them focused. Yeah. We're going to focus on uh, George's uh, face. He's concentrating. He's light on his yeah. feet, Sean George, yeah. as well. And in great nick. Both of them. I always think Sean George is like an explosive fighter. Isn't yeah, he? he is. He's the first ever shot. Oh. A little jab the there from Jimmy. Yeah. And Sean tries to get yep. through with the Trying left jab, jab as well. You know, fair play to Sweeney. You know, he's not gone on the back foot like his normal approach. He knows, you know, he's a challenger this time round. He obviously has got a name for himself. 
from being a world champion up at his weight, but you know, very he's, popular, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's challenging this time, and that's what I like oh, about him. He's took the approach of the challenger. You know, he's trying to take the lead. He's not going on the back foot. You know, he's holding the centre of the ring. You know, but fair play to Sean George. Oh, oh, here he comes, and he does. That's what I mean about explosive. Yeah, he, he sort of hangs around and yeah. then bang, and then bang, 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 four yeah. or five shots. Not all landing in that incident, but but you've got to be alert to him. Yeah. The guy's a dangerous Jimmy's man. Jimmy's just stalking him around the ring, gets through with a nice jab, jab, then a left. Sweeney. Sean John just look, waiting his time. Yeah, nice and then he'll explode in. Yeah. Jimmy again with that left jab. I thought I heard a bell then. I thought I heard the bell and the tap for the last 10 seconds. I, I did. I was a bit, bit confused on well, that one. Sean George just looked, the bell. Sean yeah. George looked across there and yeah, said, what's and going understand on? Understand the bell because there was the tap for the 10 seconds and then the bell rung within a second. So I can understand the confusion there from the timekeeper. Well, uh, the first round, it's difficult, that. Yeah, I mean, that's, I'll be fair Maybe on that one. Jimmy, I, maybe. Even round for me, to be fair, but I'd want to call. Here's Jim... Uh, Jim Freeman to tell us. Um, two judges for Sweeney, one had it even. Um, I thought shit, Sweeney probably edged it with the jabs and stuff. You were just saying that very yeah, thing. Yeah, but not a lot of it. They're having a look at each other, which is which is sensible in a seven rounder. Yeah. It's a great fight. Yeah. Oh, it, mate, it's going to be cracking, isn't it? It's warming we're, up. We're, nice we're complaining, actually. We want it to be 10 rounds. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure <laughs> the wives and girlfriends don't want the same as that, bless them. They're over there nervous <laughs> as hell. Thank you very much, Jim. 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 Seconds are out. Referee Barrington Patterson. Seconds out, round two. You'll recognise him from Danny Dyer's hardest Danny man Dyer. in Britain. But what a nice guy. And if you're on the right side of him. <laughs> Absolutely. Sean always likes to come forward and, and he's very explosive, but he's wary about getting in too close. Yeah, he's just thinking that he's. And I that's mean, clever. It's early days, yeah, but I was going to say that's what you've just did the nail on the head there, Tommy. It's clever what he's doing. He's not rushing in. He's taking his time. Although, <laughs> he rushed in then and he caught, you know, he caught for a counter from Sweeney. Oh, good job. And a good Jimmy. jab from Sweeney. They're painful on these jabs on the, with the wraps, aren't they? Yeah. Very, Most very painful. Are, yeah. So I'm told. Oh, mm, good, good attack shots. from... Nice stem. From Sean George there. Sweeney trying to counter right hand yeah. there, just falling and short, <laughs> coming back with the double jab. But uh, George wasn't having any of that then, he, defense went up. One moment of lapse, uh, switch off for a second, and it's good night, Vienna. That could be the, that could be the difference out. in this Lights fight, out. Tom, yeah. We're so fa uh, so both fighters are so highly focused and concentrating on what they're doing. Yeah, they just don't need, like you say there, Tom, to, uh, Second laps or whatever it might be, and end up copying for a silly shot. That over, overhead, and big left from Jimmy. Oh, he got again. Again. Little right hand to the body was a nice shot. It's amazing how many boxers though watch that left hand as it comes out. It's almost, yeah. it's almost trance like. That's what I mean. Then the right the cold, yeah, it's yeah. the Cobra thing. Oh, oh George, George. George, brilliant stuff from George. Yeah, George. good stuff from Comes George attacking. there. End of the second round. Good round, that. See what the judges have thought of that one. I always think the good fights are always the hardest to call. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, I called that last round even in my book. Yeah, but that's exactly as I was thinking. We'll see now what Jimmy says. Jim Freeman. Um, same again, two to Jimmy, one even round. We thought that was probably more even, that one perhaps. Yeah, it was a little, a little bit even. I think that, that, you know, I think some of the work that Sean did wasn't actually landing anything. So it just made kick. it, the crowd cheered, but it made it look like something it wasn't. Um, I still think Jimmy with the jab was, 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 was in control really in the it's round. A close fight though. It is, it is. It, um, you know at some point it's just going to explode. It's got, it's got, got that to. feeling, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. It's got that it's feeling to it. Thank you, Jim. Touch uh, hands again, and the referee, Barrington Madison, gets them at it for the third round.
Nice movement there from George, getting out of the way of their uh, the jabs at Sweeney. Another it's very throwing. important aspect of the game is getting out of trouble. Yeah, exactly, and he did that quite well there. He moved out of them uh, nice sharp jabs from Sweeney. Both have got quick hands, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, and good foot movement as well there. Notice bump from, from George as he moved out of the way then. Good jab from Sweeney. Sweeney again. Yeah, and he's quick trying jab. to faint now, yeah. He's trying to faint. He trying to but he does that at times. A double, a double jab. Yeah, a jab he's trying to whip that left hook over yeah. the top. Oh, and, and he's got one. again. Yeah, good yeah, shot from Sweeney. Sean George, though, not phased by it. Eventually, though, he's going to have to fight, got, isn't he? Yeah. Because yeah. he can hurt anybody, Sean George, on his day. You can tell the way they're fighting, the mutual respect. Yeah, of course, you know, they're not going in hell for leather, um, you know, making it more chance to make a silly mistake. You know, need the fighter, the experience that they're at now, the level that they're at. Don't, what doesn't want to be giving away anything that they don't need to. Oh, good shot, oh, nearly a good shot from George as he threw the counter left hook. Oh, yeah. Sweeney came and backed him up onto the ropes. Leads with that left jab and then tries to work the right off it. Trying with a jab again, Jimmy, the left and then working the right off it. Oh. Again, right on the bell, good jab. <laughs> Another decent round. George saying that last one doesn't count because he threw the jab and it got him right on the bell. <laughs> Just looking at Sean George's corner there, they're, they're really working him as well and I think they're trying to get him at it they've just yeah, he slapped just his to, face there just yeah. i mean the thing is we're only into the third round we're maybe getting a bit giddy i suppose here's jim with what the judges say um, we had a full house there so one for jimmy one for sean and one a draw drawn round so it's hard it was that was there wasn't a lot happening that you can't really argue with that scoring to be honest which shows you the mutual respect and how well matched they are yeah yeah they're, exactly they're still feeling each other out you know but there's still four rounds to go that's what you people have got to remember that's what you're saying now, it's like know. to me and tom are just yeah. saying that neither one wants to make a, sta a mistake it, at this exactly, level exactly exactly everyone so. knows they've got their carrying yeah. power and they're dangerous so yeah. It, yeah that's the respect that's what you get when you get the two best in there that's and that's what, what you've want. done absolutely oh, cheers jim touch hands again Two world champions with him. That's round four! He has that, that left like hook. It's like a jab come yeah, hook. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the hook off Sean the jab. George, yeah. yeah. Oh, good shot. Good shot from uh, George. George. Well, a little bit short, just clip, clip with Winnie on the chin. He's looking for that jab to get through, Jimmy. Oh, oh good, good shot. shot. Good Great shot. shot. Good shot. Great shot that from jab Jimmy landed. Sweeney. I mean, it wasn't a, a knockout punch, but it knocked him off balance more than anything. But and what it does, it reminds you. Yeah. You're in there yeah. with a good guy. Exactly. Sweeney again with that left, comes around with the left then. That stance, Sean George with his regular stance. He came straight back out there, didn't he? Yeah, sure, he gave it, yeah, like you say, I mean, it was a good shot, it landed. I just think he lost his foot in a little bit. You know, um, once he straightened himself up, he was back up and back into there. Oh, good shot good again shot from, Sweeney. from Sweeney. It's that it's, jab it's that, and that left hook. It's like a clip, isn't yeah. it? It's not a jab so much yeah. as a clip. Back comes Sean George, though. It's a scoring punch, it's a scoring That's punch. Exactly. There he is again. Scoring punch. You get your man, you feed him the bait with the jab, like he's doing, and then you feed him the jab, and you throw the left hook yeah. off it. And he's having success with it. There's again, the just a nice little touch. There's the jab, just to let him, feeding in the bait, there's the jab again. Jimmy Sweeney there, just so focused. I wonder if he's hurt his hand, does he? Jimmy Sweeney, his left hand. Nice. Yeah, that was off balance. It wasn't a shot. That no, was, no, off balance. Yeah, slightly off balance. Oh, oh Sean George good again. Good shot. George, yeah. Right at the end of the round. Oh. 
again, respect. Giving it all. It's another close one, though. Oh, sorry. I mean, I had Sweeney just, you know, just nicking it I thought Sweeney towards won the that end. One. And then Joe just caught him with that good shot then and possibly levelled it up. I think Sean George needs a... He needs a, he needs a good round. He needs a 10-8 now, he? Yeah, he needs a good round. Um, two to Sweeney, one to George. I actually thought probably that was Sweeney's best round in truth. With that, we're just saying yeah, exactly yeah, that, yeah, Jim. I just, you know, so a strange one when they said Sean, but I thought that was Jimmy's best round. I thought but he controlled it. Now, well. five, three rounds to go. He needs a 10-8, doesn't he, Sean George? It's getting that way. He yeah. needs so you know the, the just finish, you get your head jabbed off, and they, they you know, Robin knows from the amateur days, you yeah. just build up them points in the bank. Exactly. It's hard to, exactly. it's hard yeah. to. Then to you're open reaching up. in yeah. and you're doing, you're making make a mistakes. Statement. Then. He needs to make a statement. Excellent now, George, stuff. Just Thank to keep you, himself in the fight. No, he doesn't want to let it slip. What he's doing, he's letting it slip ever so slightly. He's letting it slip away, isn't he? He needs I a good round, a good knowing, round. Knowing Sean George and his so round yeah. they will be telling him, he not this one, but yeah. next one, you're behind. Yeah, and he needs to pick it up. Yeah. All guns blazing. Good stuff from Sweeney. Jimmy Sweeney again, that, that left jab, he tries to, and he sort of comes through with the jab, but sort of clips you just yeah. as he gets there. Oh, good, good, good stuff from, from Sean. George. Fascinating fight. Another good shot from uh, Sean George. From George tried a little right up a cut. Body shot there. He's as good as anyone for working off the jab, Yeah, Sweeney. he's got a brilliant ass work to work well for him tonight, Sweeney. You know, he's popping that double jab, he's feeding, like I say, he's feeding George that bait and then he whips the left hook, flicks that left hook over yeah. the top. Not a knockout punch, you know, but it's a scoring Got shot. Again. It's, a scoring, it's a scoring shot. That's what he's doing in the minute, he's just building his punches up, he's winning the rounds just by a little bit, just comfortably enough. He's accumulating the yeah, win, that's exactly. what you do. You know, he's, he's got a plan. Got through again. He doesn't want to, you know, he, know, he knows... George is a tough guy, you know, he can take a punch. You know, we've seen him in some right tear-ups. Sweeney's doing the right thing here, you know, he's being clever, picking his points up, staying out of danger, you know, staying out of trouble. He wants to go again, Sean George looking for that big one. Then a bit of holding there from Jimmy Sweeney. Little, yeah, few, words, with, little with, few words with each other there, little smile from each other. Oh. Oh, Sean George, that's what he's about, Sean George. Left it a little bit too late, though, Tom, oh. for me. Left it a little bit too late in that round. Well, I didn't even hear the bell. Yeah, no, the bell, yeah. But bell Jimmy, went. as they finish, Jimmy kisses him. Yeah. <laughs> Did anybody See, ever kiss What he's done, he's clever, he's leaving George uh, on chase now, isn't he? He's, he's chasing now, isn't he? He's, he's chasing, chasing the, the fight now. You didn't answer my question. Did anybody kiss you in the ring? Uh, only myself. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Jim. Um, two for Jimmy, one drawn round. Um, again, I thought that was kind of Jimmy's round with the jab. Left it a bit it? late, Sean. To he's, come he's got it. I hope he's not going to leave it too late. You know, two rounds to go. Or just that's what I, I'm hoping that at some point he's got to put on the gas and put the pressure on. You know, you don't want to go out there and regret like a bit like Mickey Parker earlier, thinking exactly. I could have done a little bit I more. I could have done a little bit more. Exactly. So, no regrets. No regrets. I give yeah. the corner the score so they know where they are. So at some point, you know, it's up to them, isn't it? The corner's yeah. got to tell him this is it, what exactly. you're going to do. It's you know full information. Absolutely. Cheers, Jim. Thank you, Jim. For the first time ever in professional BKB history, seconds out, round six. Six round of seven two-minute rounds for this world lightweight title fight. The champion Sean George in danger of losing it at this particular moment. Yeah, he's, you know, he's letting himself just slip away ever so slightly. But I remember the know. knockout punch in yep, that last exactly. one when he won it. You know, in the last the round, the last round, and it was a punch. The guy just, well, there's exactly. no need to count. And that's the thing, he's got that power, he knows he's got that power. I mean, Sweeney will know he's got the power, I just hope he doesn't, you know, not it's, forget about it, but, you know, though. just be wary Sean, that he's still... You know, Sean's he been possesses that power all the way too. Sean's been marked, hasn't he? Sean's been marked badly. Yep. And he comes looking for him. Good jab from Swinney again. Good jab. I've great admiration though for Sean for his gameness. Yeah, his he's game. Toughness. Yeah. You know, and he's just starting to mark up a little bit now. That jab's obviously, yes. You know, having an effect. 
on uh, George's face, you know, a slight marking under the eyes, I think. Tried the body shot there, the George just got through to Sweeney, but didn't cause him no trouble. Well, trying to get the crowd beyond their favourite. Jimmy's jab's been superb. Yeah, that's it? why, I mean, that's what, you know, that's what's winning him the fight so far. You know, he's popping that job, he's picking up them points. He's, he's not looking for a knockout, you know, he's going to win the jab. fight. He just wants to win the fight, you know, and he's doing it in a clever, tactical way. Well, he's ahead in the fight now, but as we've seen before, he then over. No, nope, the fat lady over. sings. She might be gargling, <laughs> but she's not singing. <laughs> oh, George just falling short with that left hook then. Ten seconds of the round left. Oh, good, good, good shot from Sweeney. George. Good shot from Sweeney, though, as uh, George come. Right hand, he draws him in as a counter as he come in. It's another round, Sweeney That's round. Yes, yeah, Sweeney there. One round to go. George, I mean, we're looking for something special now. Yeah, from George, I mean, he's giving it. He's, I, mean, he's not, I don't think he's going to leave the fact that I could have done more. I just don't think Sweeney's allowing him to do more. You know, just throwing caution to the wind and going all out on and, and making a mistake, and that's what he doesn't want to do. Here's Jim with the scores. Um, all three for Sweeney, which rough estimation is that George needs a knockout or at least a knockdown. But if you remember the last fight, that last minute oh, of God, the last yeah, round. Yeah. Well, look, he's the fittest fighter on the roster, so if anyone's got it in the locker, Sean has. And he's got a punch that can knock yeah, anybody yeah, out. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, you know, so it's all still to play for. Absolutely. Thank you, Jim. Cheers, Jim. One round to go. I think Jimmy's a bit wily, though, isn't he? Yeah. To get caught. Yeah. It's the final round, people. Come on, rev it up. Here we go. And there you go, there's your respect for the Absolute fight. Absolute warriors. Okay. Massive respect for each Second other. Seconds out, round seven. We haven't seven. seen that in every fight tonight. Well, one in particular we didn't see. <laughs> oh, Sean George there making a, shot. a real forward movement, trying to turn the fight. He knows he's got to he knock knows him. He, he knows. Yeah. He knows he's not, I mean, he's not getting hammered or anything like that. He's just letting it slip away, isn't he? You know, just very close rounds at times. Almost drift away from yeah. it. But we must remember, Sean George, this is his toughest ever fight. Yeah. Oh, oh, good what shot, a from shot Sweeney. From Sweeney. What a shot. What a shot. He's taking the count. Yeah. He's taking the count. Yeah. I mean, that was a cracking so. shot from Sweeney. Timed it well, still at the speed. You know, one, two combination. Or one, two, three combination. Anyway yeah. now. Yeah. You got to fight on. Uh, George is looking a little bit wobbly there. I don't know if he, he's going to fight on. Oh, good lad, Sean. Yeah. That's how brave and courageous he is. Because he's losing the fight, he might as well stay yeah. down and gone yeah. out. Yeah, but no. But he won't do he, it. He's, he's a warrior. On his shield. He's a warrior. He's a warrior. And that's almost like Sweeney's. Oh, oh he's caught him again. He's yeah. gone again and again. Yeah. He's in trouble. Big trouble. Four or five shots landed then. Sweeney's. And again, and again, another yeah. one lands. And another one, and another one. It's over, yeah. is it? No, the referee's That's just going to break them. That's what he needs to do to short George, as bad as it looks. Oh, he's just caught hold him again. On. Hold on. He keeps go. catching him with yeah. some big shots. Yeah. Big, big right hand boomers. It's all Can't over, says the referee. Yeah. It's all over. The new lightweight world champion, Jimmy Sweeney. The thoughts of Robin Reed. Yeah, I mean, that was a great performance from Sweeney. You know, he just nicked, he was sneaking the rounds, you know, and then he just took him apart in that uh, last round then, you know, and that was a great performance from Sweeney. A little quiet to start with, but, you know, once he got into his rhythm, you know, you could see he was Let's losing confidence. he punished him in that final exactly. round. Exactly, and he, 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 he picked away and he picked away and chiseled away at, uh, at George, you know, uh, working, around, working on his weaknesses, working on them found, away at them foundations, you know, and uh, he's chopped away and he's got the result. And the knockout results at that, or a stoppage results, should I say? I mean, listen, it, it's easy to throw titles around, isn't it? And words. Yeah. But he's the best, isn't he? Exactly. Really? You know, he's come down a weight. You know, when uh, you know when he, he's, he's he's fought a clever fight. You know, against George. George was in there. Don't get me wrong. You know, but he, like we said, Tommy was just what an amazing slip away, fight, people! Round by round, and they were get very close rounds. You know, when they're, they're awesome. just stamped his authority. 
you know, and he took George out in, in, in great style. That's, that's it. In that last round, I mean, I love the courage of Sean George. Yeah, but, but he, Sweeney demolished him. Exactly, you know, and the referee did a good job there. You know, I thought it possibly a little bit soon, and that's no criticism on the referee. The referee did a cracking job there. He noticed that Joy gave him every opportunity. It's a title fight. Uh, you know, it's the but last sometimes, round. Sometimes the referee knows yeah. he ain't going to win. He the fight. ain't going to win. So he's he's behind. Him from exactly. Punishment. You know, and he, he, he did him a, well, not a favour, but you know, he'll live to fight another day there. Well, you we're know, waiting for the official result we know what it is but we're waiting for the official result from Lee Druid but they've got to get the two boxers to the center of the ring first because Jimmy wants to celebrate and there's that many people in the ring and they're not having it and I have to say that the spirit between the two boxers yeah you know when uh, you know George the uh, Oh, no, he's not in too much of a uh, Obviously, just a bit of facial damage, I think. Doctor's just checking that out, making sure he's okay. You know, and hit Sweeney in with his new belt. Uh, he's, 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 he's world title belt. Well, he's got down to lightweight and he's won the world title. And he's won the world title, fair play to him. I wouldn't pass him to win the featherweight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no disrespect to him, he's lost a lot of weight, but he's got a, still got a little bit there, I think, you know, that he you could tell possibly him. shift. No, I, think he, I, mean, I think he said it himself earlier on. He said, you know, you know, he had a bit of a belly on him and yeah. all that. And I'm not saying he's got a belly on him now, but he's a little he, bit he of He only flesh lost the lane because he wasn't fit. Exactly. You know, and Jimmy Sweeney proves and shows that when he concentrates and puts, puts in the hard work, I think, he produces I think we can the performance. Go, I think I can't see in the ring at the moment, Ladies but I think we can, here we are, Lee Drew. The winner of this contest by seventh round stoppage and the new BKB lightweight champion of the world. Jimmy the Celtic Warrior, Sweeney! And a massive hand for Sean George as well. Two biggest legends in the fight game right now. Waiting now for Jimmy Sweeney to do his interview. Robin Reed is uh, ready to talk to him. I think we can cross to Robin Reed now. He's talking to Sean George and to Jimmy Sweeney. And congratulations to uh, Jimmy Sweeney on his new world title, the uh, lightweight uh, champion of the world. Uh, what are your thoughts on the fight? Did you stick to a game plan? I just want to say, Daddy, I fucking did it, lad. I fucking did it for you. I love you, yeah? yeah t listen, to be honest, my game plan... My game plan... Uh, my, my, my game plan was to box went on points that's it I wasn't going for no knocker and to be honest in the last round when I dropped Sean I, I, I fucking love the Welsh yeah I love the Welsh love holding on there I want to knock him down I knew he was gone his eyes were gone he's gone and I walked around the ring until he came back to himself because I didn't want the fight to end that way I didn't want to end that way but then he came at me I, I, I said to him I said are you alright kid I said, you're right, kid. And he said, I'm all right. And we went at it again. And that's why I took him out. But I want to say, this was never any, any bad feeling between him that I fight. I just wanted to take that third world title. And it was him and I probably trained the hardest. Uh, it was a big thing coming down, losing 10 kilos uh, on, on the weight. And I fucking, I felt in the first round, I felt slow in the first. He caught me with a big punch in the first. I fucking hurt. But I knew I had the power. I, I knew my skill would, would come through it. And, and, and I think in, in the, the fourth round, we came out, touched loads, and he said to me, you are the best. So big respect, Sean. 
So Jimmy, how did you actually feel at lightweight now you made the weight you've boxed? Did you feel comfortable at lightweight? I felt strong. I, I, I carried my power down. Sean knows he probably never got hit like that before. I carried my power down. I struggled with the weight a bit. But it's going to take a while for, for my body to get used to, to this. And I just want to say, I, I've done all. I beat everyone in the UK. Who else is there? Some, bring in some, some pro Americans, bring in MMAs. I'm ready. And like with the vision, the king has arrived. Congratulations to Jimmy Sweeney on winning his new world title. Commiserations to Sean George on losing his lightweight world title. What are your thoughts on the fight? Was he as good as you thought he'd be? Did he play the game, that he, he, the tactics that he thought he'd bring to the table? I thought I was doing well, but at the end of the day, but he outboxed me, didn't he? You know? I got beat by the better man tonight. There's no shame in losing against Jimmy Sweeney. He's the king. He's the, he's the champ, champ, champ now, isn't he? And that's great to hear from both great fighters. Congratulations, commiserations. What a fight. Over to Tom. Thanks very much indeed, Robin. Well done and congratulations to Jimmy Sweeney. Well, that's BKB 13. BKB 14 is the 17th of November here at the O2. Tickets are on sale from Monday for that. It's going to be another magic night of BKB Boxing. We hope you've enjoyed it. Wherever you are watching in the world, we hope you've enjoyed it. From me, from Jim and Joe and all the BKB team, take care. We'll see you soon.